Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Uh, I had an idea in my head today what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some jalapeno poppers. And I went to the store to get me some jalapenos. And uh, the way my mind works, one thing led to another. And then I decided I was going to do something else. And then something else. And then all of a sudden, here comes Terry with her opinion. <laughs> and that totally screwed me up. But I thought, you know, it might work. Uh, Daddy Cooks and uh, Chef John Polite, they've got this quiche challenge going around. I thought, well, hell, I can try that. I've never made a quiche in my life. So I'm going to attempt one today. Uh, here's what I'm working with. Uh, I got some uh, maple smoky links, just little breakfast sausages. Got a pound of bacon here. I got about a, about a third of a pound, maybe a half a pound of some Joel bacon. Uh, there's two different bacons. This, this one comes from the jowls off of a hog head, and this bacon just comes from the belly. You know, there's two different flavors and textures, and so we're going to do that. I got some jalapenos. I got about six ounces of heavy cream here, and if that ain't enough, I got a carton of half and half. I got a dozen eggs, got two deep dish pie shells. I got some uh, Trinity here, seasoning blend, frozen. Got a little bit of ricotta I'm going to mix in here. And I got me some shredded cheddar cheese, salt, fresh cracked jack, and some uh, Bizelle's Cajun seasoning. So let me get this stuff prepped up. Uh, I got to get all this stuff cut up before I finish this beer because I'm on my third beer. You know my rules. After the third beer, no more knives. So be back in a few. Okay. Uh, I just used three jalapenos and I did use a spoon and took all the membranes and seeds out. That was a whole package of little maple smoky links. And probably this is about three fourths of a pound of bacon all together. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is throw all the bacon in the skillet. Uh, I'm gonna get it almost crispy. And uh, let that cook for a while. And uh, we'll be back in a minute, and I'll show you what we do next. Okay. Okay, I got my bacon about where I want it, so I'm going to take this out. Whoa. And I got a paper towel over here on this plate to drain some of this grease off. Yeah, it smells good. Well, yeah, it's bacon. I know. I'm hungry. I'm going to get this out, and then I'm going to throw in my uh, seasoning blend. I'm going to let that go for a few minutes. You're going to drain some of that grease, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to drain some of this grease. Well, hell yeah, I'm not a dumbass. Well. So, well, that's I know. Debatable. So, we got that in there. Let me drain this grease. I get my seasoning blend, and we'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, so I've had these uh, veggie tables in here about two minutes. They're sweating down just a little bit. Uh, I ended up using about a third and a, a, a bag and a third of the seasoning blend. So now I'm going to put my sausages in. And uh, I'm going to let that cook for a little bit before I had to add the jalapenos. And, uh, so that's what we're doing now. We'll be back. Okay, so I got my sausage in with the Trinity. Now I'm going to add the jalapenos. Let that go a couple more minutes. Uh, I've got my pie shells uh, baking in the oven now because I don't want no soggy crust. So we'll let this go four or five minutes yet and then we'll be back. Okay, uh, I got my uh, stuff all cooked, turned off, cooled off. I got a dozen eggs here in a bowl. And I'm going to start with a little fresh cracked jack. And uh, get enough pepper in there for them eggs. I got a dozen of them. And uh, a little uh, Bizelle's Creole seasoning, Cajun seasoning. Bizelle's Cajun seasoning here. We don't need a lot of that, just a touch. 
And uh, I was going to use salt, but I'm not going to use no salt because I don't like salt in my eggs before they're cooking. So here I got, uh, what is this, a uh, 16 ounce of ricotta. I got, it's probably a third of a container of ricotta. And I had it sitting out, getting room temperature, just uh, so I can mix it up a little bit. I'm going to add just a touch of heavy cream to it. Stir that up a bit. I'm gonna put that in there. You not gonna whip your eggs first? Oh yeah, I was gonna do that. Sorry. Let me do that. Thank you, Terry. Now, see, sometimes she does tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Even though she don't know what she's doing. I know what I'm doing. I don't know oh. what you're doing, but. Yeah. A little common sense says we beat your eggs first. That'd be good enough for now. We'll put the ricotta in there. I've never made a quiche, so I don't know what this is going to end up on. Who knows? Good enough. Mix it in a little bit. I'm going to go in with the rest of my heavy cream. Give that a mix. Now I get the rest of this stuff. Put my bacon in there. Set around a bit. And I got my sausage and my veggie tables and my jalapenos. Try to get them all in there. That sure smells good. Mix this around a bit. And we'll come in with some uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar. And, uh, that's almost an eight ounce bag. Just a little bit took out of it to begin with. That looks like. And I think I'm going to need more milk, so really just a little bit of half and half. I don't know. Never made a quiche. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. But we're going to do it anyway. God, a little no bit of half and half. Have to eat. Looks pretty thick. All it is is scrambled eggs. No, it's a quiche. <laughs> All it is is scrambled eggs. Put a little bit more shredded cheddar in there. About a third of that bag. So what makes it different? Uh, I not know. And, and scrambled eggs are different. Well, scrambled eggs are different. Uh, this you got to bake in the oven and let it set. So now. Let me get me a dipper thingy. Is it supposed to puff up or something? Nope. No puffing. I got my pie shells ready here. So I'm just going to dip this in there. Got my oven set at 360. Uh, my oven, I think, runs at about 10 degrees light. So instead of 350, I set it at 360. And I'm about to run over because this is a funky pie shell. Oh, Put that in there. And we'll see what happens. And uh, I 
we got a uh, little bakeware pan I buttered on the bottom and all the sides. I'm going to put that in there. Think we'll be in scrambled eggs for a while? Oh, excuse me. Quiche. It's quiche. So, we're going to put this in the oven. Oven set at 360. We're going to let it go about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Then I'm going to pull it out, look at it, and we'll be back. So there you go. We on? All right, so that's what I ended up with. My three quiches. They're all the same flavor, but that's what they look like. Uh, for my first time right now, I'm satisfied with them. Uh, We'll let these set for 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll cut into it and see what it looks like. I don't know. I think they're set up enough, though. Uh, they look pretty good to me. And they'll keep cooking while they're sitting there. And, but there you go. That's what we did. And uh, We'll be back in a minute. We'll give you a taste test and uh, show you what they look like when you cut into them. So there you go. Okay, we're going to cut into this and see what we got. And uh, give it a taste. And uh, who knows? Pause. I gotta get a thingy. Okay, I got a thingy. Get out of there. Break the pan. The pan's okay. Looks like it's set up. So, that's what we got. So, let's give it a try. Still steaming, so it's warm yet. Yeah, I think. Oh, ha. So he shoves it in his mouth anyway. Uh huh. Worse than the kid, doesn't ever love. Hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hmm. That stuff holds heat, man. That's warm. Mm. Maybe you gotta taste it. I can taste. Cut a piece off and blow on it like a little boy. Oh, that little puff is gonna cool it? Mm hmm. I think it's good. What do you think, Terry? I like it. Do you? My first ever quiche. Now you gotta make me a spinach one. Hmm. Go figure. So, that's what I did today. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up in. Uh, Daddy Cook's Quiche Challenge with Chef John Polite. This is pretty tasty. I could use an English muffin or a toast piece of toast with this. Uh, but no, this is a... Uh, the jalapenos don't overpower you. Terry ain't screaming about them. Sorry. Really don't even taste the jalapenos. But this is tasty. Phil, Chef John, there you go guys. That's what I did. My first ever quiche. And uh, I think it's turned out right nice. So, that's what we did today. We'll go back to work tomorrow, who knows. So, 
Y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Huh? Okay, uh, Terry wanted to try a piece with the crust. So that's what we're going to do now. The other piece is good. Uh, it was uh, really good. Well, thank Terry. I don't know. It's got a different flavor. The crust. Yes, it does. The uh, the first one, I didn't taste any jalapenos in here at all. I didn't taste the bacon. Could really taste the cheese in there. But for some reason, with this one with the crust, and this was a small one. Uh, didn't get filled full. I'm tasting a lot more flavors in here. All in all, I'd say this was a win-win. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Nice experiment for me, having never done this. Uh, Something different to eat for a change? Mm-hmm. Things that would be different. Uh, and more jalapenos, because I'm not getting any jalapeno in there. And, uh, I can taste the sausage. But, there you go. That's what I did today, man. Y'all have a good one. We're going to eat some more. And we'll be back next time.